let's discuss another question uh, regarding the medicine capsule uh, let me read the question a medicine capsule is in the shape of a cylinder with the two hemispheres stuck on each of the ends all right uh, one hemisphere here another hemisphere here all right the length of the entire capsule is 14 mm okay this is the total length of the capsule and the diameter of the capsule is 5 mm so the total diameter is 5 mm and find its surface area okay let's find out the surface area i think it's very easy to understand right so uh, basically we have a cylinder first uh, we have a pipe like a structure let's say a cylinder and uh, we have a, 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 a sphere and we are going to cut it into the two part all right i mean one side and then another side all right so we're going to put one part of that hemisphere in this side and another part of that hemisphere into another side all right like this and we're going to form a capsule just like here and many things we are given here the total length is 14 uh, mm millimeter right it's a total length including the two uh, hemisphere uh, one is stuck here and another is stuck here as in the figure and the next thing uh, the diameter of the hemisphere as the question is uh, saying us is 5 mm you know so this length is 5 mm so here uh, this total is 5 mm so from here I can get the radius that is uh, this length is the radius which will be uh, 5 by 2 mm all right and similarly this will be also 5 by 2 mm similarly this will be also 5 by 2 mm so basically what I mean to say this is 5 by 2 5 by 2 mm and similarly this is also 5 by 2 mm 5 by 2 mm and, and it's, it's okay it's uh, we don't need more right now see here to find out the total uh, surface area of this first we will be finding out the curved surface area of this cylinder and the curved surface area of this uh, hemisphere and the curved surface area of this hemisphere all right so the total surface area of the object of uh, object i mean capsule will be equals to the curved surface area of cylinder all right and then plus uh, we have the two hemisphere you know one here another here so twice times curved surface area of uh, hemisphere that's going to be curved surface area of the cylinder that's uh, 2 pi r h and twice curved surface of uh, curved surface area of hemisphere that's 2 pi square 2 pi r square and now here we can uh, take the common 2 pi r and we'll be left with here h plus uh, 2 is left here now 2 r all right so it's for the 2 times uh, 22 over 7 that's value of pi and the radius is uh, 5 by 2 you know the complete diameter is uh, complete diameter is here you can see 5 so radius will be just half of this that's 5 by 2 all right so I'm just writing there 5 by 2 it's 5 by 2 and now the height of this now the thing comes height of the cylinder it is all right keep in mind that the cylinder is from this part to this part so we didn't we need only this part all right, let me show you in this figure so here the height is representing just this one from here to till here all right and we know that the total is 14 all right so this particular height how do we get it it's very easy you know this is 5 by 2 you know 5 by 2 it means it's 2.5 and similarly as I told you this is 5 by 2 that is 2.5 so 2.5 plus 2.5 that's 5 and 14 minus 5 that's 9 so this is 9 mm all right so the height of the cylinder is 9 mm uh, 9 plus twice of radius that's 5 by 2 okay and further it's uh, 22 44 we can cancel it here you know and further this 2 and this 2 will cancel up and 22 times 5 that is 110 over 7 times now this 2 and this 2 will cancel up 9 plus 5 that is 14 and 7 times 2 and 110 times 2 that is uh, 220 mm square so this is the surface area of the capsule all right 220 millimeter square of this capsule capsule is very small you know that's why it's mm square you can convert in whatever the form you want uh, if you want to convert this into the centimeter then it's very simple 220 and 1 m it's mm square it means mm times mm and uh, what you can do 
to convert 1 mm into centimeter you can divide by 10 similarly another mm into centimeter you can divide by another 10 so it's going to be 2.2 centimeter square uh, the area of the capsule all right i hope you understand and if there is any more confusion to ask me then please feel free to comment below this video i'll definitely reply you back all right see you in the next video goodbye